McCulloch with a nice jump in the 389 buggies. He's out there all by himself. Looks like we're four wide going down into the first corner. Looks like the 314 of John Fitzgerald able to move up as well. He goes to the front in that red, white, black machine down into turn number two. He gets a bump from behind. So McCulloch and Fitzgerald go at it early for the top spot. Looks like it's going to be the 314 of John Fitzgerald coming over that team associated tabletop for the first time. He's your leader. Second place right now is going to be Kevin McCulloch and then Bradley Morris, the 304. Jordan Poole in the 310. Buggy's getting all crossed up through the mogul section for the first time. Fitzgerald leads early on. Brad Morris and Kevin McCulloch side by side for second. Still second. Morris third. Jordan Poole fourth. Dylan Ayers fifth. Lindsey Geiser sixth. Tatum Bronco seventh. Chad Graham eighth. Jim Price ninth. Jeff Richards tenth. Fitzgerald head towards those Geico moguls. He comes down. McCulloch in tow. Bradley Moore is all equally spaced out. Then you got Jordan Poole looking to get up on that podium. He's one spot off of there. Then Dylan Ayers, who was on the podium also yesterday. So Fitzgerald comes down the front straightaway with McCulloch in tow. Morris, Poole, Ayers. Then how about Lindsey Geyser and that candidate, all-natural pet food, one of our great sponsors here also for the series. Jim Price, Jeff Richards, Keaton Swain, and uh, Chad Graham out there. Lindsay coming into this weekend's event, Dave, second point. Yes. She's been real consistent so far. That's what the key is. Consistency wins championships. So Fitzgerald leads him one more time over that speed code tabletop. Into lap number five. There's your leader heading into the back section of the racetrack. Limited buggies on track right now. It's going to be 14 laps. Kevin McCulloch second. Bradley Morris third, Jordan Poole, and then Dylan Ayers. The top five buggies around in the final corner now coming across the strike. In the lap number six, we're gonna be coming up on our competition caution. Limited buggies, of course, are Volkswagen based machines. Stock Volkswagen front beat, 1600 cc limit. Just like you can find right in, the, uh, in a Volkswagen themselves, the front ends come right off of there with a little modification and onto these buggies. So as far as the big track competition goes for the weekend, Davis, our entry level class. I like to call this like a driver's class too. It's like a lot of the Junior 1 and Junior 2. It's a lot of momentum, staying smooth out there, not scrubbing speed off. You don't want to slow your roll. Jordan Poole and Bradley Morris now. A little bit of action right there for third. Poole and Morris get together. Poole's going to scrub off some momentum, and uh, Bradley Morris is going to pull away with that third spot. So it's still Fitzgerald with a nice, comfortable lead now over Kevin McCulloch. And just as I spoke of, we got two buggies getting together right there coming out of the moguls. Green flags back out. Look at the nice jump by McCulloch. He pulls up right alongside our leader, John Fitzgerald down into turn one. Fitzgerald's able to hold them off and pull out to another lead. So it's Morris and McCulloch left to battle for that second spot as Bradley Morris going to pull up on the outside through that tight left-hander back there. As they come back over the tabletop and head into the inside of the track, it's still John Fitzgerald in the 314, and Bradley Morris has picked up a spot. That's moves that 304 Lucas Oil machine into second, Dave, and into the moguls for the first time after a caution. And Jordan Poole, look at this. Dylan Ayers is hauling the mail through there right up on the rear of Poole. Scrubs a little speed out. Lindsey Guider, Tatum, Bronco back there also. 
These guys opting for the wide line around that off camber. Magna flow bump on the inside. You see our top four or five competitors take the wide line through there. And it's obviously paying off for Fitzgerald as he pulls out a few buggy lengths over Bradley Morris. Let's see if Bradley Morris is going to have his shot at the front now. Dave, see if he can make something happen with Fitzgerald as he's looked very strong early on. Back to Brad. Brad Morris and Kevin McCullough going at it for second. Still down into the very long front straightaway. And into turn one, Fitzgerald pulls out some more in that 314. He's looking strong. Yeah, look at this. The battle in third is going to heat up there. George Poole dives to the inside of McCullough when they come around turn number two. See how it's all going to shake out when they come out turn number three. Fitzgerald, Morris, and Poole still. Over the big team associated tabletop through the Mogos one more time. John Fitzgerald in the class of the field thus far. Bradley Morris not able to gain on him in that 304 machine. McCulloch, Poole, and Ayers all tightly spaced right there. Third, fourth, fifth on back. But John Fitzgerald once again is pulling away. Yeah, I'm bummed that Greg Crew got out there today in a bomb with his vehicle. He drives the Lucas Oil machine. But also, since he's not out there, you're going to have to go visit Greg back down there in uh, the uh, performance alley in the vendor area running our uh, Lucas Oil booth to make sure you go and uh, see all the great spe uh, show specials. So it's Fitzgerald, Morris, and the battle continues to heat up right now with McCulloch and Poole. Jordan Poole now brings that 310 Riot Racing Machine right up on the back of McCulloch, looking to move into that third and final podium position. So that's still up for grabs. Fitzgerald in the 314, still your leader. Bradley Morris under fire now from McCulloch. So it's Morris, McCulloch, and Poole with a nice little race going on for second. And here they come across the Moguls one more time. Into lap 10 now, lap 11, I should say, of 14. McCulloch pulls up right on Bradley Morris coming through the corner. Looks like Ayers and Poole now are side by side. So Poole could lose a spot to Dylan Ayers right now. Ayers is going to take the outside line. Poole's going to go underneath on the off camber. Magna flow. Hairpin over there, so Ayers and Poole side by side down the back section into the long sweeper. And John, Fitzgerald just checked out totally. He's checked out again, pulls out. He's got a few seconds now as he's across the stripe. Looks like this will complete lap 11. And Fitzgerald, of course, has fast lap out there, turning a 103. Everyone else, the 104s and 105s. But I got to tell you, Dylan Ayers had a fast time there, only three tenths of a second off of Fitzgerald's time. But unfortunately, he's got a few vehicles in between him to make that, to, to utilize it. Yeah, he's going to have to put together some solid laps to get up there. Fitzgerald's definitely be in the class of the field today, David. He's been pulling away for our first half of the race, and now the second. These guys not able to contend. Bradley Morris did pick up a spot after the competition caution. He's looking good in second. McCulloch third, Dylan Ayers, and Jordan Poole right there in fourth. In fifth. Well, the real battle now is heating up for second. Morris and McCulloch flag is going to come out as Fitzgerald slides it around at turn six, the big left-hand sweeper to get the white flag at the stripe coming across the Geico Rockstar Tower there. So one more lap to go down the running order. Fitzgerald, Morris, Dylan Ayers, Kevin McCulloch, Jordan Poole, Tatum Ronco across the stripe. Now then Jeff Richards, Keith Swain, Jim Price, Lindsey Geyser, your top ten. Your leader, John Fitzgerald, over the center tabletop, the team associated tabletop, one more time and across the moguls all by himself, enjoying the nice, comfortable lead in the class of the field all day long. Back to Bradley Morris in the 304. Ayers third, and then McCulloch fourth. Jordan Poole in that 310 machine sits fifth. Just about a half a lap to go to decide this one in limited buggy. And there it is, the checkered flag comes out. John Fitzgerald taking the win.